Hello, my crafty loving friends. Welcome to Repurpose My Way. I'm Shelly. Today, we're going to break out some little power tools to fix up some dump finds. We're going to bust out the mustard paint and create some beautiful primitive decor with just a few steps. Let's get started. We're going to start out with this plain basket. There's nothing wrong with it, but I do want to make it a more primitive country look. So I'm going to take my Waverly Black paint and give it a uh, just one coat of the paint. I love these kind of baskets because it's low profile. It's easy to just throw your keys or sunglasses or whatever you want in it, or just some decor, add some bowl fillers or basket fillers, and it would be great for just anywhere around the house to put things in. The inside is going to get a liner, but I still wanted to paint it black in case the liner didn't quite fit all the way. I didn't want it to show. So then once it was all dry, I took a piece of sandpaper and just went over the basket. It distressed really well, and I love bringing back some of that wood tone. And just to make that even more deeper and to seal it in, I took some my, of my Waverly antique wax. I love putting this over uh, my black paint because it gives it a richer look and uh, it also richens up that brown color that comes from the basket that you uh, distress back. So I just brushed it on there with a brush and then wiped it back with a rag and then once that was dry I took a piece of my black and tan material and my super long glue stick with my glue gun. And I uh, just added that around the rim and I'm going to do the uh, one side of that and just glue it down. And then I'll flip it in just like this. I like to usually go all the way around or as much as I can with the material on the outside and then flip it in. But this basket is a little bit unusual. A weird shape and it has the handle on it so it makes it kind of difficult so i just glued around the edges and then just folded down that edge so you didn't have the frayed edge of the material and i uh, glued that all around the bottom i did have to fold in because i had extra material and the shape of the basket fold in my corners just a little bit so i just made sure i did that and everything was nice and secured with my glue. This is definitely a dump find. I know that I picked this up a few weeks ago and it has these dowels in the top and I think it held like a little roof or it used to. Uh, I just got it exactly the way it is, full of wax and just kind of not looking very good, but I think we're going to make it look a lot better. So I got out my Dremel tool and I just put my little cutter on there and cut off my little dowels that I had in the top. I won't need those and I will set those aside and use them for something else. I'm sure I can find something to do with those. So I just cut those off. As you can see, it was quite the task getting those off. And then I tried my best to cut it down flush with the wood and sometimes it would gouge into the wood and made big gouges in it but I don't really care because I'm going to be covering it up with Spanish moss anyway and some greenery or some kind of a candle ring so I didn't really worry much about it but I did sand it down and it is a little bit shiny so I sanded it down the best that I could and made at least those pieces 
where the dowels were flat. Now I'm taking my heat gun and I'm going over the uh, where the candle would have been. Somebody had a real candle in this and they just let the wax just drip all over the place. And usually I pop things like that in the freezer and the candle wax comes right off. Well, this one was a lot of drips and in crevices and stuff. So I just used the heat gun, heated up the wax and it came right out really easily with a rag. So then when that was all cleaned up nicely, I took my Fusion mustard paint. Now, this is pretty shocking. It looks like I have a bottle of mustard that I'm actually wiping on this. And it always surprises me every time I see uh, this getting put on something. I'm always like, Ugh, I don't know. I, you know, I always question it. And I don't know why, because in the end, it looks so good with a little antique wax on it. So this took two coats of the mustard paint. I did that and let it dry. And now I'm just going over it with a piece of sandpaper and distressing it. And I don't know why I did around there because you can't even see it. But anyway, as you can see, the sun's out. So sorry, hopefully that isn't too distracting. But uh, I like to get my craft on early in the morning sometimes and the sun likes to shine right through there. But anyway, I... Um, just took my antique wax and I brushed it over that mustard paint and it does it's just miraculous what it does to that paint it goes from looking like mustard out of a bottle that you'd put on your hot dogs to just this old looking paint and I just love the color that that the antique wax brings out in it so I'm just going to do around the edge here only half of it and I tried to show you what it looks like with the antique wax and without. And you can kind of tell a little bit. It just darkens that up a little bit. And um, I just love how that looks. It just looks like an old, uh, an old piece once you put that antique wax on, which I guess is what it's supposed to do, but it always surprises me. So now I'm going to take my... Uh, Spanish moss and I'm going to add some glue around the cup the candle holder and I'm going to add that all the way around and fill that in so that you don't even know that that's there. After adding all the moss that I wanted, I uh, trimmed it up just a little bit with some scissors and then it's time to decorate. I'm going to try out some different candle rings that I have and I'll show you pictures of what I used. So I added the greenery first and then the pit berries on top and I liked the height that it gave it and the different colorings. I tried it with just the pit berries. I also tried it with the tea stain daisy candle ring that I recently got. And I really liked all the different ones. So I'm gonna show you all the pictures of them and see which one you like. this little table this little wicker table that I got from the uh, the free shack at the dump and I wanted to make a little riser out of it uh, any time in my booth that I have stuff that I want to get up higher or make a vignette it's nice to have little risers to add um, your stuff to so you can just get some height in in what you're showing so I decided that I wanted to just give this a paint job of the mustard color since I already had it open for a different project. I figured I might as well get started and do something a little different, a different color, and use this mustard. So it was a little bit hard because it is wicker and there's a lot of holes. It's a lot like painting a basket, 
but uh, I didn't mind because, again, like previous things like painting a basket, uh, I will probably distress back just a little bit, and then I'll use some of my antique wax. So all I did was do one coat on this. I didn't wasn't looking for complete and full coverage on it. Uh, I just didn't want a bunch of the white showing through. And I think this really came out antique-y looking. I, of course, the antique wax does that with that mustard paint. The two of them together make such a perfect pair. I like the darkness variance, variance in this uh, wicker as well. So let me know what you think. Should I have kept this white or do you like this, the mustard color? I thrifted this from Salvation Army. The tag says $3.99 on it. It's a nice big metal, uh, they look like ceiling tins, like a pocket type of thing. And it was intimidating when I first got it. I thought, oh yeah, no problem. I'll be able to do something with this. But for some reason, I felt like I really owed this piece uh, a really good makeover. Um, I, I, you don't find ceiling tins that often, um, or tins that look like ceiling tins with such detail. Uh, oh, I'm showing you the pink flowers that came in it. It did not complement it whatsoever. Um, and it was very dirty and rusty. Um, and some of the paint was peeling off. I really like this buttery yellow paint. It was beautiful, but, uh, I, it just, it, it was just not looking all that great. So, um, I took some black, flat black spray paint, and I gave it a spray all over. I didn't completely cover it because I know I'm going to go back and distress. So uh, I just gave it a quick, just a quick cover-up job, and I'm breaking out my mustard paint from Fusion again, and I'm going to give this a paint job. This uh, took three coats on each side. Um, I... It just kept showing too much of the black through it after the second coat. So I uh, went over it in, in one direction and then the second coat after it dried, I would go in the opposite direction when I painted it. And that seemed to work really well. So the, the third coat was more of a touch up in certain spots, uh, but it covered very well. And uh, once it dried, I just took my sandpaper and started sanding out the the spots that just the, all the details that were sticking up and this worked out perfectly and I just love how this came through and that butter yellow that was originally on it some of that came through as well and I think it looks great with the mustard and the black paint it all came together so well and I really think I did this uh, uh, justice I, I hope that you think so too uh, I had a hard time trying to figure out what I was going to do with this so that you could see all the detail without uh, too many different colors and all that. And I just love this mustard with the black. So there it is that I've got it all sanded down. I just love the look of this. And of course, to finish this off and to bring out that beautiful uh, antique mustard color, I took my antique wax and I brushed that on and made sure I got down in all the details of those tins. And that way when I wiped it back, it would stay down in the lower spots and it just highlighted it so well along with all of the uh, distressing that I did with it. I just love how this came out. I, I think I keep saying that, but I really do love it. And here you can really see the difference in the original mustard paint and the distressed antique paint. So I went all the way through this and got it all covered 
on both sides and the sides, wiped it back, and I just think it looks so beautiful. And then I just set it aside and let it dry, let that antique wax just sit there, and look how beautiful and deep that color is once it's dry. So then I am taking just a piece of my black and tan material, I ripped off a piece, and I'm gonna highlight some of that black by uh, adding this to it and making that black pop that I distressed through. And then I'm just gonna trim those ties up a little bit and this piece is done. Stick around to the end because I wanna show you, I just got an order from Zazzle of decoupage paper. So I want to show you what I picked up. I just got my Zazzle order in the mail, so I wanted to show you what I picked up. I'm now a Zazzle affiliate, so I'll have my own affiliate link down in the description. They're actually having a 15% off sale right now on probably everything, but maybe just the decoupage paper, I'm not sure. Um, and I'll put the link or the the code that you need to get the 15% off down in the description as well. This is January, let's see, January 6, 2024. So I don't know how long the sale goes for. So if it's further down the road and you're seeing this, I can't guarantee that that sale is still going on. There may be a better sale, who knows? But I believe you can go on Zazzle. Now that I'm affiliate, I have my own like page on there and I'm selling a couple of my crow uh, papers that I made up uh, on there as well. And you can see what I've ordered in the past and what I've ordered now. And um, you can, uh, you know, follow along what I get. And I think you can follow me on there. I'm not positive, but, uh, you know, just so you can keep up on, on what I'm buying. So I think I got five, five different ones. One, two, three, four, six, maybe six. We'll see. Oh, this one's beautiful. Okay. So you get three papers, which I'm okay with because I have a booth at a flea market. Actually, I actually have a couple and uh, I like to make multiple things up or do, um, you know, similar things so that I could put them in there to sell and anything that they decoupage is like comes out really well. So, or gets as sells really well, I should say. So I try to put as much of that in there as possible. Okay. Enough chatting. Here's the first one that I got and don't mind the paint on my hands. I've been painting this morning. Um, bluebirds. These actually, I'm glad I got three because Two of these are going to go to family members that uh, one of them has a new place and the other one doesn't have a new place, but she likes blue. They both like blue. So I thought I would do some kind of a beautiful picture with these. I think that would look beautiful in their homes. So I'm going to use two of these for family members. And then the other one I'm going to uh, probably make up for my booth. But isn't that gorgeous? That's if I don't make a mistake. That is just beautiful. I love that one. Okay. And then, oh yeah, I like the colors in this too. Great bright colors. This one. Dragonfly. I like that. That one's beautiful too. It's a little bit smaller. But that is gorgeous. Antiquities. Beautiful colors. 
So there's that one. I got three of those. That's just how it comes, I think. Maybe you can adjust how many you get. I'm not sure, but... Um, okay, so this is for my crow lovers. Well, they didn't separate these out, so hang on. They're all sticking together. All right. Oh, what did I get extra? I may have gotten extra. Maybe I ordered more than... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I may have ordered more than what I expected. Let's see. That's for my crow lovers. Oh, yep. Sorry, screwed that one up. Screw that reveal up. That figures. Hang on. All right, we'll just do two because you're giving me a hard time. There we go. Let's do this. There. Isn't that pretty? With the crows and the flowers. It's very fall. So I'm kind of thinking ahead to spring, summer, and fall. So I think I got a double order of that. I don't remember getting that many, but... Okay. Um, what's this one? This one is just a like a grayish tone. Just got one order of these. I like this one. Very beautiful. This is going to be very elegant with the crows and the black and white, or the gray and the black. That one's beautiful. Yeah, I like that. And this one is, I don't know, I feel like I got extra weird. Who knows? There we go. Another crow. Crows sell well in my booth. So that one's really pretty. That one's going to look very rustic and antique. All right, now this one. Did I get three of these, I hope? Yes, I got three of these. This one is, we've just passed Christmas, but this one is for Christmas. I couldn't pass it up. I wanted to make sure that I got it and not forget to buy it. So I thought this was beautiful. It's uh, Father Christmas and he's uh, holding a light for an angel or something, or I don't know, something's happening there with an angel. But I thought it was really pretty. And uh, I like the green colors in it. I think it's going to be really beautiful with some kind of frame that uh, you can take your gold and put it around a little bit or even a gold frame. I think that would look really beautiful. So I had to get that even though we've already gone through Christmas. I try to think ahead if I see something because by the time Christmas time comes around to do an order that I want to do for Christmas... I've forgotten what I wanted to get. So, um, but that is my Zazzle order. So I'll leave the link down in the description for uh, my Zazzle associate link. And then you can go from there and shop. If you see something here that I got that you like, you can shop through that link and um, use the coupon code that I'm going to give you down in the description as well. And you can get 15% off your order. So that's really cool. So I hope you liked my projects today. I hope you enjoyed the flips that I did and that you'll let me know down in the comments if you had a favorite, which one it is. Uh, and I, I would love to hear which one you like the best. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and have a great day.